Richard took my initial question, and um, thank you for that. Um, my next question, I guess, is on um, the food service. Yeah. What is really ten cents going to bring down the seventeen thousand we had to put in this year? Again, the ten cents wasn't an increase that we thought. If I took the seventeen five and I divided out by the number of meals and raised the rate, it would have been more than that. Because as I remember, I said that the ten cents might uh, seven thousand. Yeah, it might raise us an extra seven thousand if the same number of meals were served, but. We didn't raise the 10 cents because we were trying to chase the 17.5 of shortfall. Uncle Sam's reimbursing us at a rate right now of about two dollars and sixty. The base is 267, maybe. 67. 267 per per meal. If you are qualified for free lunch based on your income level, Uncle Sam really wants us to be asking everybody else to raise the same amount of money to pay for a meal, and and so they have established some regulations that direct that in every district nationwide that's participating in the USDA program, you have to run your numbers through this formula and it kicks out and says, you have to raise it at least this much. There's no expectation that you raise it more than 10 cents in a year. So in this case, when we went back and we went through the formula, uh, there are hold harmless, there are transitional, there's all kinds of phrases, just like you have an adequate education, you know, there's, you know, those different funding mechanisms. In this case, the formula prescribed or directed that we had to go up by a dime. So we really want to chase, we already raised the rates from two and a quarter to 250 two years, two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were hesitant to do anything more than what the law demanded. We really trying to find the savings to balance on the spending side, not the revenue side. It's absolutely ridiculous that we should have to raise it at all, but that's the government, the way right. it works today. Um, with the, um, new computers and what have you, are we giving them to the children to take home? Are they allowed to go home with them? The, the new one-on-one, -on -one, the, the Chromebooks? Yes. Uh, well, the third grade teachers have, uh, are a little um, uh, cautious about the third graders taking them home yet. This is a brand new experience for them, right? So um, as in true style of an elementary school, you know, they're very protective of their, their, their young chicks, right? And so they're not going to go home right away. They, they're not, just not sure about them. But the sixth grade, once they get accustomed to using it, yes, they will. They'll have that opportunity to take well, them home. Well, my question goes back to replacing now. What's it going to cost to replace? You know, I drop my... Right. Mine on the floor. We are going to get good um, coverage to them, They're, the, you know, the, the, the pad that you put them in. So we do know that. Um, we also have some, some um, uh, extra ones in case we do have some damage. Um, but um, Nathan um, and uh, Greg Lamparis, our tech director, made the decision not to go out and insure them because the insurance costs were greater than the costs for, what, five, six, seven, uh, that was losing where them, right? getting to. Our, our number was, we bought 300 for these two grades. The cost to insure them over three years, for the same money I could buy another 100. So I could buy a third more than I needed. <laughs> yeah. I, talked to, I talked to two other districts in the state that had done similar initiatives. In both cases, they had elementary, first grade through one through five and one through eight. And they gave them to everybody all in one fell swoop, and they let them take them home. And they were talking about loss rates in the 18% range. So 18% on 300 put me in the, you know, 50 some odd units. We bought 24 extras. We're going to spend the additional dollars on casing them for safety. But the idea that I could that I could buy a hundred, I'm not going to have a loss rate of 33 percent. If I do, we might have an issue that we don't want to yeah. continue working with because <laughs> these things are supposed to be they're 11 inch, they're 11 inch units. You can see them at you know, like I said, Best Buy. There's five or six different brand names there, but um, they're intended to be fairly durable. Obviously, a drop from four feet onto the edge could be sh could be dangerous. Sure. But I mean, this guy. This guy's been off the edge of the table here in this room twice that I can think of a few times at home. So it's um, and this thing's eight years old, or seven years Usually old. Usually, so right after I test anyone email. That's right. <laughs> so it's you know we're hoping that our loss rate is pretty low and that our balance of 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 um, discretion is is and it will be rewarded. But I'm hoping, you know, with the third graders kind of taking it easy and keeping it in the building and the sixth graders taking it home when. My biggest concern is not even the kids taking it home. My concern is at the middle school level, walking them from classroom to classroom to classroom, mm. where the kids are distracted and they've got other things going, they've got textbooks and backpacks and friends, and 
cell phones and things like that that you know kind of come and go. Have to, that's when I'm afraid things are going to fall in the hallways. I could just walk through every day and pick up two or three of them, but that's not going to happen. I know that the folks at the staff at the academy are going to work really hard. So I, I, I just saw that as a, a possible it budget could complication later on if we, you know, all we suddenly find we have to replace thirty. Mm. percent of them mm. or whatever it's we'll have to think twice about this whole thing so or or maybe that you know the, the insurance will be you know more reasonable and more justified in that case but for right now we're we're heading the other direction i have a couple other questions but i'll send you an email thank okay, you sir. my pleasure thank you